Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, continuing EDAS, custom campaign for StarCraft 1 created by Desil. We're heading into Mission 2. The first map was mostly just a big exposition dump, plus a showcase of these six real cool heroes that hopefully we'll have an opportunity to control. Let's get right into it. A journey through New Dresdia. You know what, before we head right into this, let me just mention, if you remember back to Legacy of the Confed, I believe it was Mission 19, part of Dawn of Darkness, where we were controlling the Hunter Killers and the Keepers. We were in New Dresdia, so... It was interesting how the Oracle kind of included Duracida as part of his own campaign because he really liked what Dessler was doing. All right, custom music. I still have the music off because I just played Map 1 right before recording this. Admiral Rassi, I trust you are feeling a good spirit? We have some business to discuss, if you don't mind. The militia is once again going to require your help for a special assignment. I hope you aren't considering asking us to steal technology from the Protoss again. The last time we stole plans from them, they were destroyed in front of your scientists. Needless to say, it stirred quite an uproar and a bit of nervousness among my men. Don't worry, old man. Nothing like that this time. I just returned from the shores of Norjanan. Needless to say, the fighting does not go well in our favor. General Skyler has used every trick in the book to avoid going to war according to Tark law, and thus restricts us from using our true weapons of war, such as canister rifles, C-10 rocket launchers, not to mention our nuclear capabilities. Nasty business, that is. It is unfortunate that we cannot change the law, but as you said in your briefings, a show of any misdoings might land the wrong impression with the Protoss. And knowing General Skyler, He'd take advantage of such an opportunity and turn them towards his side some way. Yes. Though the Protoss have made it clear that they would not get involved in the internal affairs of Dorazida, I have a feeling that Skylar could cook something up that would make them scurry over to his side if we gave him the opportunity. Anyway, back to the subject on hand. During our most recent encounter with Skylar, our wraiths were shooting down the cruise missiles from mid-air flight. The situation seemed well in hand until some new ships came in. The ships, according to our intelligence, are the latest technology being used by the Outer World Terran factions. They call it the Valkyrie. My word. I'm sure now that I can guess what it is you want us to do. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will be to raid the Terran Dominion space platform Genid. The platform is home to many of their technical schematics, including those of the Terran Valkyrie. Also, as long as you're venturing into deep space, see what else you can pick up. Admiral, I don't think I need to tell you how important this is. If the Peds keep their current air superiority, our fleets will be forced to surrender within six months. We cannot allow General Skyler to control the skies. Well, General, we'll accept the mission. I'll have my team ready to leave Dorazida on the Phantom, my ship, within a day. As always, it is my duty as the General of the Tark Forces to say that we cannot be connected to your group's activity in any way, and should you or any of your team be caught, the Tark Militia is unwilling to provide you support. All that bullshit aside, good luck, old man. Urusi out. Well, this assignment shouldn't be that hard. Computer, activate secure line. Contact Blaze. Yeah, I hear you, you idiot. Whoa, er, sir? Sorry, sir. I thought you were quick. What are your orders, sir? We just got ourselves a new assignment. We leave tomorrow. Call off shore leave. We going to have problems getting any of the team together? Well, sir, Surety and Shaddocks were going to their home in the Hinlands. I'll send a dropship for them. Melcon's headed to New Dresdia, and I'm in the northern side swing of the city. That just leaves... Aw, oh, crap. Quick. It's always quick. Damn shitbag. He's in the Sonic Archon. Don't ask me why he's there, damn fool. I can go into that place that they paid me. I reckon I can have Malcone over here in a few minutes and we can get him out of there. Whatever it takes, Colonel. The Phantom will be waiting at the usual rendezvous point tomorrow at this time. See that the team is there and waiting. This is an important assignment for Edast, and I'll expect perfect results. Yes, sir. Perfect results is my middle name. <laughs> we'll all be there with no problem. <laughs> okay. Follow all instructions. Malcone must survive. Talk with orange citizens to learn more about Duracida. <laughs> so, you know what? Say what you want about the voice acting. I'll, you know, I'll keep my opinions minimal. But I will say, hey, I don't have to read the briefings out loud and they're fairly lengthy. Let's go. Are we there yet? 
This is Kid Morning, and you're listening to Hit Discs on Slam Radio. Slam Radio. Lieutenant, get your ass over here and pick me up now. All right, so there's Blaze way up there. We have to go get him, and then we've got Malcone. So, is he quick, or is quick someone different? Because he says he's called Malcone here. Anyway, uh, so the radio, if you remember back in... uh, I've got something on my screen. It kind of looked like there was something visible on the minimap. Nope, that was just a piece of dust. Uh, Back on... uh, Legacy of the Confed, Mission 19. Welcome to New Dresde, a capital of the Tark Continent. Enjoy your visit. Some of the citizens are rather talkative. You can speak with them if you have time. Don't mind the Protoss, they just use New Dresde to repair their ships in some kind of war they're fighting. Who knows? And hey, who cares? They're a major source of res- revenue for the city anyways. <laughs> but yeah, there was uh, the radio going on in the background, and I talked over it. So expect me to talk over the radio now as well. Okay, well, should I just right-click on... On Blaze up there, I guess let's You're explore a little bit and see where we need to go. I'll keep an ear an ear on the radio just to kind of hear if anything interesting gets said. But uh, this is very much like that Legacy of the Confed mission, and it should be because that mission that we played, that we've played in the past, is based off of this. Protoss Reavers, that's right. So we did see some Protoss. I'm listening back to... Ah, Mark Sanchez. I was thinking back to having to fight Mark Sanchez in that Confed video with the Hunter Killers and then followed up with the, the Keepers as well. It's really, really neat. Uh, this seems like it's the right way. I'm just going to right-click on Blaze up here and see where we go. It's pretty neat with the, you know, it's a, it's very world-building. You can tell, like, there were a lot of things designed to be set up with this campaign, and I suppose it's a shame that it never got completed. This is a long time ago, though, so who knows what happened. Alright, Lieutenant, listen up. They won't let us into the Psionic Archive without something valuable, so we're gonna have to get some rare stim packs. The person who sells these is said to be in the southwestern part of New Dresdia. It's illegal contraband, so don't let the New Dresdia police catch us swiping it. Move. The Protoss responded by saying that the cargo was part of their fuel okay, system. Okay, so let's just move After all the way down here which left 12 and just hang out right by the beacon. And I, I'm kind of paranoid that my voice is mixing in with the radio the voice. I hope they just start some music here Remember pretty to soon later today so that it's not confusing. To the hottest new group, Stims and Stuff. Stims and Stuff. All right, here comes some, some music. And we'll see if it's very similar to the music from uh, the first mission. And again, I don't know if those are going to end up leading me to some sort of copyright issue. I swear, half the people in this city are blind. They think the Civil War is over. Oh, sure, we aren't officially at war, but the battles, they still happen. And my friends, I can see poor Kit Cadden? Cadden walking along the front lines. Then all of a sudden, boom! Next thing I see is my friend lying on the ground with a bullet in his head. Central Command calls it an isolated incident, not worth mentioning. Isolated incident, my ass. Indeed. Yes, this music is very similar. Again, anime music. We can talk to this fella. We don't know much about them Zerg, but we who analyze the reports that Edas brings back now know that they can double their production in five minutes. One hive can spawn another in five minutes. Then those can spawn two and so on, or so I hear. I just hope that never comes to Duracida. It's got some foreshadowing here. I can only imagine we're going to have some Zerg issues by the end of this campaign. There are seven or eight missions. These used to be the landing docks for our battle cruisers. Now, they're bas- now it's basically... A place for storage of spare parts. Okay. Let's keep uh, looking around and finding the best way to get to this fellow down here, most likely. Seems like the best. And we have to do this without getting spotted. There was an orange citizen up here we could talk to. All we know about the Axons is that Minister Joran is their tribal leader. Hmm, I wonder what they teach. Again, so much world world building here, and for only seven missions, unfortunately. And we'll see if the other celestial stories sort of set up more about what's going on here on Duracida. This is a neat little city. You know, you have got the inner city walls, and you've got some buildings on the outskirts as well. Okay, so who are the police? Is it the red, or is it the blue, or or what? I suppose I should look around to make sure nothing really horrible is going to happen here. I'm going to save. So this is Edast. This is mission two. Cool, let's hit it. Here's the stuff you wanted. Now get out of here, quick. Go, 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 go. Fuck, the cop saw us take the illegal stim packs. We can't fight him in this place, in this piece of shit. Make a run for the Sonic Archon. We can't, we can lose him in the crowds inside the bar. Okay, so I just right clicked on it. Oh god, alright, well we just gotta go. Get going, Malcone. Oh god! Uh, this, this path, this route does not seem like the proper way to have gone. 
I'm zip zooming through the streets here, hopefully finding a different route. Oh god. Oh, oh, we're so close to death. We have to get up here. Oh god. Run, friend. Oh, he's so dead. Yep. Okay. Well, that's why I saved. Um, I suppose. It seemed like you get caught no matter which way you go. Let's do this again, and then we're gonna sneak through this area. Get through there. We're gonna go left this time. Yep, I know. Don't don't move my camera. You know how much I don't like my camera being moved. All right, so we're right behind this dark archon, which is in my way. We need to be able to go quick. I don't have time. Watch out for the new Dresdia police. Their bikes are those specially equipped ion thrusters. Your outdated D22 model won't outrun them if you get into a chase. Like right now, you mean? All right, now let's right-click. We seem to have gone a different way. We didn't get caught by like a billion siege tanks along the way. So we are getting chased by those vultures, but I'm not as worried about them. We already spoke to him. The siege tanks do a lot of damage, but they can't keep up with us. Run, friend. Oh my god, the pathing. The pathing. Get out of there. We're closer. We're much closer this time. All right, right-click on the bar. I think, I think we're on the, the right path here. We just don't want to get path blocked by any of these patrolling other units. Good, morning, New Dresdia. You're listening to Good job, Malcone. We'll lose him quick now. Oh! This is Slam Freak Kid Morning here. Okay. Another short one. I, I suppose I should have taken the time to talk to more of the orange civilians. The bar just ahead is the Sinic Archon. Yikes. Okay, well, you know what? Mission 1 was short. Mission 2 was short. We're just going to stick with the short missions here for today. I'm releasing both on the same day, so this is what you get. And I sort of wish I would have explored a little bit more and talked to folks more about the, the city, but... Oh well, honestly, I'm sort of in a rush. I'm trying to record a bunch right now, and I don't have enough time to go back and do it again! So, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.